Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 108. We're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We've, um, we've finished everything we can finish here on Korriban. And it looks like my crew all decided to go back to the Evan Hawk chill. Maybe, uh, may maybe pass along the flask of whiskey that they think I don't know about. And, uh... Let's see what's about to happen next. Why, hello! I really wish they'd tell you what he was actually saying. It seems like a bad joke that's gone on a little too long. Uh, a message from Kelborn? What is it? This better be important, droid! No. Thank you, T3. Please tell me what Kelborn said. I've been working in healthcare too long. I keep seeing T3 and thinking, why is he giving me Tylenol with codeine? I received an urgent communication for you <laughs> from Kavar. Return to the camp as soon as possible and I will tell you more. Uh, he got a message from Kavar? So if Kavar's trying to reach me, I expected as much. Hey, he got a message from Kavar? Dude. They might as well not show you talking at me. Yes, we should return to the Mandalorian camp as soon as possible. I don't care how urgent Kelborn says it is. I'll return to Dixon when I feel like it. Okay, I got the message. Uh, I'm going to say, okay, I got the message, just because this might be a good time to do a little crew check-in. Yeah, journal entry added... Uh, you received word from Kelborn on Dixon that Master Kavar has an urgent message for you. Kelborn asked you to return to Dixon as soon as possible. Alright, good. Alright, so that, matter of fact, that is what I'm going to start next week's stream off with. I'm going to do a quick crew check-in because I haven't talked with anybody and this gives me a chance to uh, do a little bit of equipment stuff between now and the next episode. Like, I haven't talked with visas in a while, but I don't think I've earned any... Oh. When did that happen? Oh. Huh. So there's a hidden compartment now. With a bunch of stuff. Alright. Huh. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Let's see if uh, Visas has any new conversations for us. Alright, uh... How did you find me? Who sent you? Ooh, I can teach you stuff. I want to teach you some of the techniques I have learned in my travels. I am prepared for whatever you wish to teach me. Visas has learned the beast trick. I understand now. Eh, okay. I shall practice what you have taught me. We, we weren't done. My life for yours. Uh, how did you find me? Who sent you? I had questions for you. Yeah, let's see. I will answer what I can. Tell me of your home, Lord Lucille. Oh, wait, no. Wrong franchise. Uh, how do you see through the Force? Was your master behind... Yeah, let's ask about how you see through the Force. I don't think we followed that one all the way to its end. If you wish to know. Okay. Perhaps it is possible to show another oh. what my people see. What I see. First, you must close your eyes. Okay. The surface of the ship, its sights. So we are making progress with it. Good. Now, in your mind, reach out. Listen for my breathing. Do not focus on the sound, but the life behind it. Imagine its energy, its texture. Okay. In tandem with the breathing, and then in your mind, step back from the image, and see what remains. There. It is not as difficult as I thought. You learn quickly. Hmm. I learn at the speed of plot. You have gained bonus force points and force sight. This allows you to perceive the alignment of others and three and see through some obstacles to the threats beyond. Ooh. That would have been nice about like two episodes ago. Okay. It will take effort to maintain such sight, but you now have that power. And with it, nice. you can use it to see life around you in a different way, as I used to see it. Oh, you used to? Uh, 
Matter of fact, I think that's the last conversation we we can have with her, un- unless you want to, you know, court some options. But uh, no, I don't even think that's a possibility now that I think about it. All right, so I will be going now because I want to. Uh, ooh, XP received, five hundred. Always nice. Maximum force points increased, even better. Sweet. So that was a that that was very worthwhile. That was worth it to to not jump immediately into uh, into stuff with uh, with the next part of the the questicles and all that. All right. Let's see what Beodor has. General, what is it? Are you okay? You seem distant. Is something wrong? Look, I don't have time with this attitude. I just wanted to talk to you. All right. Are you okay? Traveling with the Mandalorians. It brings back too many memories. Say Mandalorians, plural. Me. We're only traveling with one. Problem. But if Mandalore steps out of line, I'll put him out the airlock. <laughs> <laughs> Mandalore is no threat to us. I don't think that would be a good idea. I think you're overreacting. Let's go with I don't think that would be a good idea. You're right. I'm just not used to the idea of fighting with Mandalorians. You keep using the plural. We only thinking. got the one. Uh, ooh, do you have any shields I could use? Sorry, nope. General, I'm flat okay. out. Because what he's saying is you already have too many chance. in stock. Something else I can help you with? Hey, Sound of Steve, thank you for the follow. Um, all right, that's about it for now with him, I think. Yes, General. Okay, so I do have the option to train him in the force, but I, I'm not going to do that. So we've done everything we could do with him that we can. Let's, um, uh, what's HK got for us? Corey, is there someone that you need killed, Master? I wanted to do some target practice. Uh, no, you don't have to call me master. Statement. Oh, I'm aware of that, master. I simply use it to give you the illusion of control and obedience. Humans often need such comforts <laughs> until the end comes. Okay. <laughs> that. This is why I like HK. Somebody had way too much fun writing him. Alright, there is no illusion of control. You answer to me. What do you mean, the end? Consolation, Master. Everyone dies eventually, and not all of them by my hand. <laughs> Even droids die when not routinely maintained, okay. sadly enough. I had some questions. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, who, who was your previous master? Yeah, let's see if we got enough influence to manage that master, one. Nope. Master, ironically enough, I seem to have developed a sudden bout of memory loss. Mm -hmm. I shall struggle to recall an answer to your question, but for now, it is sadly really? beyond my capabilities. Really? Consolation. Besides, you are a fine master. Do not be worried about being rendered insignificant if I were to inadvertently compare to some silly old master I once possessed. Uh-huh. All right, I have some other questions. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, uh, let's go with why did you ask me about the Mandalorian yes, Wars? Why? Because your actions then and now are related, and I feel I need some context. I confess to being somewhat needy. See, I need way. to either gain or lose enough influence to open up that pathway about his previous master. Because uh, it's not clear, but you open up the conversation paths by either gaining enough influence or losing enough influence. Uh, which is kind of nice in a way because that allows you to continue conversation. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, it, it allows you to continue the conversation uh, in w with characters that it would change your alignment to win favor with them. Like HK is very dark. He, he's a he's dark side as dark as my coffee. Um, so there, there's there's no 
there, there's no earning influence without changing your alignment. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to have to keep losing influence with them until, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, you know, this droid certainly has a lot of tone in his voice, doesn't he? Um, so let's go, what did you mean? Statement. Sometimes and the meatbags thing. For meat bags to step back and gain some perspective on death and its importance in their insignificant lives. Explanation. <laughs> you see, Master, assassination is such a versatile tool. I have uh -huh. seen the removal of a single target have far-reaching consequences oh, for a really? nation, world, even a galaxy. The repercussions of even the smallest lives, whether dead or alive, can have profound implications on history. But surely you realize this. Uh, uh, if you're trying to justify your programming, you're not doing a good job. That's a very human perspective. Okay, which one's going to hurt more? Statement. Master, please, any comparisons between me and your meatbag status leaves a fluctuating, intermittent charge through my control <laughs> clusters. I was only trying to bring death and its impact to okay. your attention. I had some other questions then. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Uh, do you know anything about the Sith? Oh, we... nice to see you back. Nurturance, or did you finally get some dinner? All right. Let's ask about the Sith hunting us. Answer. No, master. I do not. I am afraid I have been out of touch with the Sith. <laughs> yeah, trying to do a little crew check-in. Differently than the ones I was familiar with. These seem to favor stealth and assassination to achieve their ends. Yeah, I've noticed that. Uh, any idea where they might be striking from? Answer. No, Master. Uh, of course not. The Sith had many hidden bases and strongholds before and during the Jedi Civil War, and I doubt the Republic found them all. Theory, it is possible that the Sith still hold one such base. If not several. Okay. Consolation. But I would not so worry. Do you know master. where is? I imagine it will not be long before their murderous hands try to seize you by the throat. <laughs> Twi'lek metaphor. Seriously. Like, this is not helpful. I had some other questions. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. Wonderful. Alright, uh, so that's about the Sith. Mandalorians, we don't have enough of that. Uh, let's see if we can find out about the Navi computer. Query. I don't think we finished Indeed, that one. Indeed, I was unaware that the Navi computer was locked. <laughs> uh, yes, it's voice printed. Statement, yes, I heard it was voice printed. Most okay. curious. Oh. Oh, good. This is new options. You can mimic languages, right? Can you unlock it? Statement. I suppose so, Master. But I would need to know who voice locked it. Oh, and okay. And regrettably, I do not have that knowledge. It seems to me that we will have to accept the T3's astrogation abilities for the time being. Hmm. It is a very loyal and dependable droid. You know, everybody keeps knocking on the astromech droids. Oh, they're very loyal and dependable. Yeah, for Astromex. Alright, uh, I think we've exhausted all our options with him, and I want to try to get a couple more in before I call it a night. So we've got everybody in here. Speaking of, where is T3? He's, the, he, he's wandering from section to section making repairs. So you never exactly know where to find him when you're looking for him. Hello. Uh, all right. We've got a lot of options here. All right. Uh, could you please stop moving around the ship? It's hard to find. That doesn't seem like a good way to win influence. We've been trying to increase our influence with him. 
Uh, we asked about the HK droid in the cargo bay a long time ago, so let's ask, did you know Mandalore? That's a new conversation option that we do Oh! You know what? We got a couple of new questions. Let's start with the astrogation system. Maybe we can unlock a thing with HK later. Oh, hey! Um, you locked it? Why did you do that? I don't know. We, I don't know what you just said. Beep beep beep. Protect. Protect who? Under whose orders? <laughs> but the Republic is already in trouble. I'm not sure what else you're protecting it from. You're not making any sense. Eh, insulting him isn't going to help. Not making sense isn't going to help. So let's go with protect. Under whose orders? Context. Th this is one one irritation. Uh, they didn't want the charts to be found by the Republic. Why didn't they want anyone to know where the ship had been? An old friend, you say? This friend is the same one the person in the hologram was talking about. Uh, why was where this friend had gone so dangerous? So the astrogation system was crippled to prevent learning where the Evan Hawk had been. Um... Let's try the first line with the friend. Is it the same person the hologram was talking about? Is that a yes? But how did the Ebon Hawk come back from there if it was so dangerous, and why? Can you find it again, and why did you leave? Let's go with that one. T3. Ah, there we go. Since Terrace. Without you, we would never have escaped. Hey, another callback to the first Knights of the that, Old Republic. I thank you. I'm leaving this message inside you because I have seen glimpses of the future. And the bond that he and I share does not allow him to hide everything oh. from me. More of his memories have returned, and they trouble him. He has remembered something. Something on the edge of the galaxy. And he believes that he must go there to end it. Oh, I'm really? Afraid, him. afraid that he may not return. I need you to be the beacon, T3. If he is lost out there, on the edge of the galaxy... If he finds whatever terrible thing he has seen, then he may not survive. If he doesn't make it back, then I need you to return to the Republic. Find help. If you cannot find me, then seek out other Jedi. Okay. The Republic, I can't lose him, even if he believes he is protecting me. Well, that is useful. Okay. Uh. So this help you came in search of, you came in search of me... Was the who was this person the hologram was talking about? A friend of yours? Yeah, let's okay. Who who was this person the hologram was talking about? Another missing friend? A missing friend? The person the hologram is a missing friend? Is that the uh Let's go with the missing friend. What happened to your old friend? Uh, because he couldn't take anyone with him. I'm sorry, T3. I really wish I knew what he was saying. That would be really helpful. Uh, but you did, but you did help. You found us. We can stop the Sith. Ta-da! He seems happy about that. Uh, so this is the help you came in search of. You came in search of me. Uh, is that the message you were trying to hide? Or is there another one? Yeah, I know. I, I it, it is... I'm try For some reason, I thought they gave you some translations in the first Knights of the Old Republic, but I cannot remember for sure. Um, but it would help... It, it, it would really help choose answers if you knew what he was saying you know uh, fine do the beepity beepity beep and just you know put in brackets 
because that's what they do when they translate for people speaking a foreign language, and it's a droid. Uh, might as well be a foreign language. Uh, yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, sure. I think we've already been down this conversation path, but we'll see. I don't understand why you're concealing that from me. Because reasons. That's what I'm saying. Because reasons. All right. Uh, don't hide anything like that from me again. I don't care what your programming tells you. No, I understand. I hope that helped. All right. Uh, that's it for now. We got some light side points. Uh, I guess we've earned max influence with T3 because I'm pretty sure some of those answers should have gained us influence if we haven't already. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've gained all the influence with Mirror that we can, but we might be able to teach her some force powers. I, I wanted to say thanks for what you showed me on Nar Shaddai. Yeah. It's gonna take That's some not what that sounds begin, like. But, but thanks. I feel alive. <laughs> Uh, do not thank me, merely obey me. How very sith of you. Uh, this power you feel, and that hunger will grow in time. Mm. Not my doing. I merely showed you what you could do. Sure, we'll go with that one. It's strange, but it feels right somehow. Like a piece inside me just clicked into place. <laughs> uh, so now that we had that, can I, can I get some grenades? <laughs> there were some questions I was hoping we could talk. Uh, let's go with some questions. Go ahead and ask. Uh, nope, never mind. There doesn't seem to be anything to uh, do on that part. Because I know with some of the characters, you can teach them different abilities. Matter of fact, since we were able to teach Visa something, I wonder if we can teach Atten anything. Because it's been a while. We've got let's max influence. Up. We've done... All the conversation. I want to teach you some of the techniques I've learned in my travels. Mm, nice. All right, I'm game. What did you want to show me? Whatever you'll learn. Atten has learned foresight. All right. Okay. I think I've got it. I'll try to practice it when I get oh. the chance. Oh, good, 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 good. Because on the quest that's going to start on next week's stream, you're going to have two parties running around, and this means that I can put Atten in the second party that I'm not in and somebody will have the foresight ability. Beautiful. Uh, th this is unintentionally Something good up. prep. <laughs> All right, I want to teach you some of the techniques. I... All right, I'm game. What did you want to show me? All right, what else can you learn? Ah, the beast trick. Okay. Eh, it's Something okay. Up. Uh, fighting techniques. Yes, learn those too. Oh, yeah? All right, let me have it. Uh, it... Ooh, you got All weapon right. specialization lightsaber. It. I'll try to practice it nice. when I get the chance. <laughs> practice carefully. You'll poke an eye out. Okay, more than an eye. Um, yeah, it's not so much that you're splitting the party as it is you're going in two separate parties of three towards two objectives. So you, Kriya, and a third person that you pick are going to go to one objective. And then whichever three you choose out of your crew are going to head to the second objective. Uh, which means that I can safely put Atten in charge of the second party. And that way somebody on each party will have foresight. Which should help spot stuff. And he just Something learned... Up. Is there anything else you can teach? Nope. Nothing. Never mind. Okay. That's... that. I'm glad I, I gl I'm glad I took the time to do a crew check in. I almost didn't. I wasn't planning on it. I was going to jump right into the other quest, but I also uh, want to keep access to that crafting bench <laughs> so that uh, I can actually, you know, do some stuff. Uh, who do I want to talk to next? Let's let's see if we can make progress with Godo because we haven't really talked to him what much. Have what have you brought me? Considering I saved you, you could be more grateful. I want to talk to you about your operations on Nar Shada. Ooh, he can make security tunnelers. Nice. Uh, I want to talk about your operations. As nope. As I, am to give away all my trade secrets, I haven't won enough influence yet. If I choose not to answer such questions. Hmm. Well, considering I saved you, you could be more grateful. 
Oh, seriously. You are one of my crew. Test me on this. I had some questions for you. Uh, ooh. where do we begin? All right, let let's start with uh, what capabilities does your droid possess? It has been assigned to guard and protect you. As such, hmm. it is well suited for a variety of tasks. It is skilled in intimidation, interrogation, and can provide a series of select skills that will make it an effective. Well, it does have a certain set of skills. I'll give them that. Uh, what skills does it have? This unit comes with a droid scrambler that you may use oh yeah, I forgot about that too. To randomize the defensive and offensive protocols. Use it and it will cause droids to wage a civil war in their programming and they will turn on their allies. Its power source is not limitless, but it is enough. Hmm. In addition, this unit comes equipped with a portable cloaking generator. That's right. It will allow it to Ooh. enter places I'm glad I I'm glad he reminded me about that cuz I'll definitely want to put him in the second party, not my party. So you sneaky and confusing? <laughs> this can all prove NASA. Good to have you standing with us. You sound pretty useless. Eh, let's go with the first one. What an amusing Jedi specimen you are. I had other questions. Uh, do you know anything about the HK droids? The assassin droids. I have encountered some, purchased hmm. the service of others. Why are they hunting me? Why, I asked them to. Oh. To be honest, I believe that was always their intention. Oh, you, you just out and said that. For some time. Okay. Where are they coming from? Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, what are they doing in the Republic fleet? They are masquerading as... Oh, thank you. I noticed that part. I've discovered that when they are used in negotiations, they have a predictable pattern of sabotaging whatever peace treaties they are involved with. Hmm. Uh, why doesn't the Republic know? Because the Republic has no reason to investigate otherwise. No. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, why haven't you acted on this information? Because their behavior is predictable, of course. Uh, By monitoring their presence, I know which worlds will suffer. Okay, because his whole goal is to save the Republic. I think I know what he is. But I'm going to wait until the game reveals it. Are they going to keep coming after me? Of course they are. Oh, yeah. They're droids with very specific protocols that unless changed will dictate their movements. Unless you shut them down at the source, they will be stalking you until you are captured or terminated. Why okay. don't you ask their predecessor? That archaic memory impaired assassination droid will know more about <laughs> subsequent generations than I would. That archaic memory impaired assassination droid. That that hurts a little bit. Alright, I got other questions. You may speak. You speak. On the yacht, you mentioned Revan, but Revan sought to destroy the Republic. A common misconception not supported by facts. Revan did not intend okay. to destroy the Republic. He deliberately left the infrastructure of many planets. Oh, okay, okay. Now, we've, we've been on this conversation before. Uh, that's inconsistent with the fleet that he had at his disposal. Okay, that's fair. And that is why Revan left many military production facilities in the Republic intact. Alright, but uh, why Revan wouldn't need to conquer anything else once the Republic was beaten? What about Malik? 
Mm, those are two very good questions. Let's start with why. That is what occupies my calculations okay. as well. I believe that Revan saw a war on another front that we did not. Oh. Or saw the value in keeping a strong military force. Do you know where Revan got his forces? That is also a mystery oh. to me. I do not have any evidence upon which to build an answer. It is significant that after the defeat of Malak, the forces decreased considerably, mm -hmm. and after Revan's departure from known space, production ceased completely. It is my prediction that whatever was producing such forces needed a strong, effective leader to ensure its stability. Without Revan or Malak, there was no such figure left among the Sith. Huh. So what about Malak? Unlike Revan, Malak demonstrated no concern for the future of the no. Republic in his attacks. Malak was an idiot. He was a bruiser. He was a brute. Yeah. I would have preferred Revan rule the galaxy. He had foresight in his conquest. A That's a that odd way of putting this. it. All right, I got some other questions. I am willing to indulge some of your questions. Some of my questions. Okay. All right, so that 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 means that we finished up the Revan, we finished up the HK, we finished up the abilities. Uh, I don't think we have enough influence in one direction or the other, but we'll try the base of operations. Now, now, that hmm. be telling. For now, my presence must remain a secret, and it may remain that way forever. Nah, it won't remain that way forever. You may speak. Alright, uh... Let's try this last go-round. There are several factors, all of which... And then I'll probably call it after this. What's the situation on Onderon? Onderon is an outer rim world, rich in ecological Since I'm going to be headed there next. Its aggressive ecology is capable of bringing devastated worlds back to life. It is currently experiencing a political schism split between two forces. One must triumph for the planet to be stabilized. Okay. What about the restoration efforts on Telos? Okay. Since the destruction of the Faragas facility, the hey, hey, hey. That was an accident. That was an accident. I didn't do that. Yeah, it wasn't my fault. Of course it was. If you had not gone there, the I didn't go there. Somebody flew my unconscious body there. The Sith, then all of that it wasn't my fault. Yeah, that wasn't an option either. I hope you do not decide that the next thing that must be destroyed to stop the Sith <laughs> is the galaxy itself. Perhaps one must ask themselves at what point defending your religious ideals is advantageous to the Republic as a whole. As long as your defense does not exterminate more than 50% of those you intend to help, is that acceptable? Are you going to ask how many angels can dance on the head of a pin next? All right. Tell me about Dantooine, because I'm going to be heading there after the next quest. Dantooine is a vital resupply point for the Republic. Okay. If its stability is compromised, then the Republic will lose control over many outlying worlds, and they will become a haven for raiders and smugglers. The economic loss from such outer worlds is greater than the Republic hmm. is aware of. If the matter is not corrected, then it shall fall. Oh. Okay, I got other questions. I am willing to indulge some of your questions. Alright, uh, that seems to be everything. Alright, oh, I gained some influence with them. Well, okay, I might be able to do something with that. Alright, I know I said I was going to call it and I'm like 35 minutes in. But, I think I've only got two more people to talk to. No, three more. Hmm... Let me go see if I can teach the Handmaiden any new techniques, and then I'll save Kriya and Mandalore for the next go-round. Yes? Um... 
What you doing? I am training so that if danger oh. should strike, my body and my reflexes will be prepared. That, and I had forgotten how long hyperspace mm. travel can be. If I do not have something to focus my attention on, I fear my sanity will erode as well. Okay. You could always play some Pazak with that. And what do you mean, Pazak? What, again? <laughs> no, I do not trust him. Okay. At cards? That too. Oh. Alright, this is going to be a short journey if everybody's watching each other for betrayal. That is untrue. You and the Iridonian trust each other. Or at least the Iridonian okay. trusts you. We heard much of the Iridonian when we served Atris. Atris believed that the Iridonian held the knowledge to restoring Tilo. Oh, because he does. Uh, is that why Atris was siphoning power, or... Hmm... Let's go with that route. The reasons for such siphoning of power are complicated, and I do not know all the answers. But there is something greater being achieved. Mm -hmm. The teachings at the Academy must be preserved, even if it draws strength from Telos. And Atrus thought Baudor was the key. Yes. His skill with machines oh, okay. is something beyond I, I which think we're most back to well worn paths again. His shield technology surpasses the designs of even the most skilled of Ichani power architects. I do not realize if you know what it means to have such a one respect and follow you. The Iridonian allied himself with no one on the entire world of Telos, yet he will follow oh. you at the risk of his life. His stance, in many ways, mirrors yours. Where he walks, he carries a world upon his shoulders. And like you, I do not know if he has ever faced it. Um... Hmm... Maybe you'd like to explain why Atrus is siphoning power. You'd never understand. Hidden way your academy. Listen. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh... Ooh. I don't want to go. I don't want to talk about it, and I don't want you asking him about it either, because that doesn't seem the right path to take. I don't want to go the you'd never understand shut away in the academy following um let's see if maybe you'd explain the reasons for such siphoning oh, power okay. are complicated the teachings never mind. of the academy okay I have some other questions alright I think we've done yeah we've done everything else we can it doesn't look like we can teach her anything so I think this is where we're going to call things out. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.